like a hell cut. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. As you can see we got NASCAR Heat 2 once again, but this time we have a career mode series beginning. Now I'm actually already started the season, but I finally had the opportunity to do a career mode let's play. So we're going to be starting um, at the Coca-Cola 600, but um, I'm going to show you uh, all the standings and stuff so you really... Uh, you understand what's going on in the season as you can see I'm in my fourth season I drive the uh, one car in the cup series for Jamie McMurray and I just came off my first win of the season in Kansas and now we got the Coca-Cola 600 and I race for in all three series there you can see my rivals got Blaney, Kurt Busch, Austin Dillon and Denny Hamlin and um, that's really it for a cup but it's pretty early in the season to have some rivals and then Xfinity Keselowski's mad, Blake Cook's mad, but that's not a big deal. I'll show you my stats here. We got 175 races overall, 19 wins, 8 in both Xfinity and Trucks, 3 in Cup. And the standings here, I'm 6th in the playoff standings. And uh, we'll go through the rest of the playoff standings. Here we got Kyle Busch down there, 12th right now. Austin Dillon holds the last spot in the playoffs, and in Xfinity, we are second, and in uh, Trucks, I am leading that. I'm going to be doing all three series for career mode, but I might not show all the races for the other series, maybe only select ones, but let's get uh, into the race here for the Coca-Cola 600. All right. I don't need a custom setup or anything. I like to go with the default. We're live from Charlotte Motor Speedway for the running of the Coca-Cola 600. Today's event is one of the more unique races on the NASCAR schedule. At 600 miles, drivers and crew alike will face the ultimate test of skill and especially endurance. In 2016, Martin Truex Jr. dominated this race, leading 392 of 400 laps. So he's definitely one of the favorites today. NASCAR Racing is coming up next on PRN. Okay, here we go. Starting in dead last, just like every time I have uh, done this game. I said in my most recent um, Formula One career mode that I wanted to bring my NASCAR Heat 2 career mode. I didn't want it to be during mid-season, but that's, uh, I was finally able to do it, so... We're just going to go from here, from the Coca-Cola 600, and uh, see where it takes us. Hopefully I can get two or three episodes of this per week. Alright, one lap down. We've gained eight positions already. And go to the top here, go around Matt Benedetto and his Cosmo Motors. Or whatever that is. I really like running the top. I feel like the top's gonna work best for me, just from past experiences at this track. All right, clear of Landon Castle now. Uh, Suarez not running very good. He is not too far out of the playoffs right now. He still has a chance to point his way in. Now we are locked in the playoffs after a win in Kansas. I actually, um, obviously you guys didn't get to see that, but what happened was I actually dumped Denny Hamlin on the last lap for the win after he wrecked me a bit earlier. So I decided to uh, get payback on him and get a win from it. So that's how that went down. Right, let's try to get to the outside of Blaney. And as we're going to go to the top, 
Make it three wide with him and Michael McDowell. Little contact with Blaney. He is a rival, so he is trying to wreck us here. We, as you can see, have a bit of visual damage now. Uh, right now we have just three laps to go in stage one. We have worked our way into the 15th position. Got a lot of traffic ahead here. Gonna make it three wide with Matt Kenseth there. See if it can work. Did not get a lot of speed there. We got a rival Denny Hamlin right there in 12th. I'm actually gonna back up right here. I don't wanna get into a situation that causes us to get wrecked here. Now we go to the top of uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. there and Kyle Busch. Try to make that top continue to work. It definitely is working this time. As you can see, we're going to go right around those guys and even three wide with Clint Boyer. And we clear him and now we got Denny Hamlin right beside us here. Obviously, he decided to uh, not wreck us, surprisingly. This is the white flag in stage one. Now, let's see if we can get past Casey Kane here. Going into turn three, he's going to hang on our left side. Let's see if we can make the top work. Yes, we will. So, there you have it. We're going to get eighth here in stage one. I'll take it, two points, or three points, sorry. David Reagan got 10th? Okay, well, we're not gonna pitch, so I'll see you guys at the beginning of stage two. All right, let's see what we can make happen here. We might be able to get up front, possibly win the stage. This is only uh, 10 laps. Now this is a four stage race. Most races obviously are three, but the Coca-Cola 600 is four. So all the stages are pretty equally divided in this race. Kind of just settling in behind the two car at the moment. Try to get around him on the top here. We might be able to do it right here. All right, we clear Brad Kozlowski and Ryan Newman there for position. The top is just so fun to run at really any track that you can make it work. You can do, uh, you can make it work at Kansas as well and Homestead, Miami. Got in the wall a bit there. All right, just three to go now in uh, stage two. We have worked our way up to fourth, so we've only gained two spots here since uh, when I left off on lap three. It does not look like we are going to run down the front runners for the stage victory. It looks like Joey Logano is currently the leader. We might be able to run down the 78 here and get around him. Well, that did not help, did it? We got quite a bit of uh, visual damage on the car. Some of it is a little bit impacting on the performance. But I would assume everyone's going to pit at the end of the stage here. Let's just try to hang on to fourth.
All right, Lugano has won the stage. We will get fourth. That would be uh, seven points to us. Chase Elliott there in fifth. Both Ganassi cars in the top five. And everyone's pitting, so we're going to pit. I think I'm just going to put uh, two cans of fuel and four tires on it, really. Maybe uh, repairs as well, so let's get ready for stage three. All right, you can see we lost 10 spots there with that uh, pit stop, so we're going to be 14th for this restart. See what we can make happen here. Once again, stage three is just 10 laps. Got our rival uh, Ryan Blaney there behind us and Hamlin just ahead of us. Wow, that was close, hang on. Not much uh, area to go right now. These two in front of us, side by side. We're going to try to make the top work. And it did indeed work pretty well. Clear of uh, Brad Keselowski and Ryan Newman. We're back in the top ten. Now we got to be a little careful here around Denny Hamlin. Kind of hope he doesn't uh, go after us. Let's see what happens. I just got in the wall. Made a little contact by accident there, but we're going to get by him all right. Oh, he's going to hit us now. He is all over our bumper. Oh, look at this. He just damaged my bumper. Lovely. All right, just three to go in stage three. We got away from the 11 car, and now we are trying to pass our Ganassi teammate, Kyle Larson. That's the only reason I went with the one car, so I could be teammates with Kyle Larson here. Alright, two to go right here in the stage. Looks like we have a three car battle up there for the lead. I don't think the bottom is clear, Brett. I'm pretty confident there's a car down there. Yeah, there definitely is. See if we can get around that 48 car, get a top five to end the stage would be pretty nice. Looks like we will get that 48 unless he gets run back. He's not going to get a run on the 20 car. We will get fifth in stage three. So we've been in uh, the points for every stage so far, and now we have the final stage right here with, it's gonna be about 12 laps. Logano still has the lead there. Green flag is out, it's gonna be 11 laps here to the end of this race.
All right, we will clear Matt Kenseth there for fourth. We got 10 laps to try and get past the 78 in the uh, four car and try to run down Joey Logano. Yeah, the time of uh, recording this episode, uh, it was just after, it was a day after the Kansas playoff race in real life, and obviously Kyle Larson got eliminated due to a blown engine, which was really devastating for me. But obviously we got next year, and hopefully we uh, still have strong competitive cars for next season. I'm kind of worried that we... The competitive Ganassi cars kind of came out of nowhere, which worries me that um, the competitive Ganassi cars could also disappear out of nowhere. So I'm not incredibly confident going into next season with the uh, 42 team, but we'll see what happens. Just hope for the best. Hopefully we can get another win before the season is over as well. All uh, right, we are battling for a second for, uh, with Kevin Harvick here. It almost seems like maybe the bottom is the way to go in uh, turns three and four, but I'm going to try and stick with the top here. I mean, there's only seven laps to go. That certainly did not help. Kevin Harvick still battling pretty hard right now. Give him a little uh, push down the straightaway. Just six laps to go and we have a caution. Okay, it, this is gonna be interesting. We're definitely not going to pit. I think Truex might have caused it because he was just behind us and now he's a lap down in 39th. But it, that doesn't really matter at this point. Let's just try and uh, win this victory. You know, it'd be really nice if we could change our paint scheme in career mode. Because I have many paint schemes for this one car. But I can't change them. And it's only a three lap shootout. Now we're going to give that 22 a big push. Get him out front. And then uh, just have me and him out front. And we can battle it out here. Looks like that's exactly what's going to happen. Try to make that top work. Oh, that is not what we needed to happen. Have happened. Going to kind of pinch that 48 down. I kind of cut him off there. Down the back straightaway with just a lap and a half now remaining. Can we run down the 22? Well, we've pretty much ran him down, but can we pass him? White flag in the air one more time around Charlotte Motor Speedway. Gonna try and go to the outside of him, maybe. Yes, we will. Oh, I did not get the entry I needed. That's probably going to do it. That, yeah, that's. We're not gonna run him down now. Joey Logano will win the Coca Cola 600, and we will finish second. I'm not gonna complain about second, though. Uh, it's pretty decent, so. It'll be a good points day, even though we already have a win, so points don't necessarily matter unless we're getting playoff points. Danica Patrick with a 13th place finish. How about that? Martin Truex Jr., dead last. Alright, there's your point standings. Kyle Larson leads the overall standings, and I'm fourth, which is kind of surprising. But uh, last season, Larson had like nine wins, and then he lost the championship in Homestead to Kyle Busch.
All right, you can see I have 33 million dollars, 12.7 million fans now, and the next race will be uh, Dover. I might show the truck one for this, um, for this series. Like I said, I'm only gonna show uh, select truck races for the career mode series, like certain races like Eldora and whatnot, and uh, the Canadian Tire. But there's the point standings. Uh, Austin Dillon's still the last car in, so. That is going to do it for the first episode of Career Mode. I didn't want to start it mid-season, but that's just how it's going to go for now. Um, and we'll see where this takes us. So no more new rivals, which is nice. So I'll see you guys next episode for Dover. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a good day. See you next time.